10 rupees to start off the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Last time we started the game and, you know, we saved Tetra, a pirate captain female. They're really progressive here in Wind Waker world, but yeah, we saved her from a giant bird that tried to kidnap her, but alas, the bird kidnapped our own sister. And it's our birthday for crying out loud. I mean, holy crap. You know, th these are kind of going downhill really bad. Was Link dancing there for a moment? Okay, whatever. But yeah, anyway, today, you know, we're going to tag along with the pirates to go ahead and get our sister from the Forsaken Fortress. But first, we kind of need a shield. If you recall from the previous episode, our grandma has one. All right. Hey, Grandma, how's it going? Okay, well, yeah, about Errol. Uh, y you know what? It it's best if I don't even tell you. It'll just worry you. Let's go get that shield. <gasps> Where has the shield gone? Grandma, what happened? And why are you facing away from the ladder? Link. Is this what you're looking for? Why, yes it was. What, what were you doing with it? You don't want Link to go save your granddaughter? Are you scared for him? Oh, take it with you, okay. You got the hero shield! This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Really? Okay. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can move around if you defend while targeting. I mean, the shield used by the hero was the mirror shield after the healing shield, so I mean, you know... It, I wouldn't say that's the same shield. And yeah, that was no time to pose, Link. This is not JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I guess it's true. Arrow really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? Yeah. By a bird, of all things. A, a bird could take such a sweet young child. A giant bird. With a mask on. It was a bird. Okay, well, you know what? Let, let's speak to her. Let, let's try to calm her down a little. It was not very effective. Oh, she's just so sad. And listen to the music. It's just sad. But don't worry, Grandma. We will return one day with Errol. We must. Seriously, this has to be like the worst birthday ever. I mean, you know, you get some birthday clothes that don't really fit the season. I mean, it's the middle of freaking summer. You're wearing long sleeves and some leggings and ugh. And then, you know, your sister gets kidnapped by a giant bird. Then you have to stow away with some pirates. Like, this is not a good birthday for Link. It just isn't. Decrepit old shield. You little... Just everything about her makes me mad. It just does. She's not even dressed like a pirate. She's dressed like a freaking genie. What the... Ugh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, there's some more stuff we could have done there, but it's kind of pointless. For example, there's a woman there where it's like if you bring some pigs to her little pig pen, she'll give you money for each pig you bring. It's kind of pointless, though. I mean, we, we don't really need money right now. And you still can't even blow your nose for this momentous occasion. Seriously. This freaking kid. Ugh. It's just so sad. And don't you have a freaking heart? Apparently not. You sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. You, you, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't even be a pirate. You don't even have a pirate sword or a gun. What kind of pirate are you? A weak one, that's what. And just tell you're going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. And you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? 
no, we're in too deep. Freaking sorry excuse for a pirate. Can't you be awesome like the pirates in... Oh, she does have a holster for a gun there. Oh, All right, I redact my statement, but still, I hate you. Okay, you can't just stand around on deck. You're getting everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I don't want to talk to you anyway. You're lame. Seriously, you don't even have powers like the pirates from One Piece. I mean, come on. They're awesome. You're not. Tetra. And that's not Nico. Just saying. This is Nico. Right here. Nico's cool. N Nico's cool people. So I, I messes with Nico. I messes with Nico. That's my boy right there. Okay, I promise I'll go easy on you, so do as I say, okay? Right now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it in too. Wait, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy swabby brain. Alright, I'll let that one slide, Nico, because I know, I mean, you and me, we go way back. But, uh, yeah, wow, I, I don't remember that insult right there. I really don't remember that. Yeah, walk up to the switch and press it. We have platforms. It's time for platforming, literally. Also... This is the test all new pirates have to take. So Luffy had to do this before he could become a pirate in One Piece. Why am I just keeping going back to One Piece? I don't know. You gotta do this. You jump right at the rope, you can grab and swing, and then A to let go. Yes, this is the pirate test. This tests if you're ready to be a pirate. Swinging from ropes. Problem though, Swabby, the platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. You skipped some platforms there, Nico. Probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try, this ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset these. All right, so according to Nico, this is going to take me one year. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Okay. Hmm. Crap, I think... Uh, I know there is a way where I could, like, skip some. Ah, crap. Yeah, okay, I was trying to skip at the wrong spot. All right, all right, that was my fault. That was my fault right there. It's the last platform I know you can skip. All right, we're just getting back into the groove of things here, folks. Not everything is going to be done first try or done perfectly, even though I really had no reason to not do this perfectly. I am embarrassed as I should be but whatever oh boy it's gonna be one of those days huh Considering it took me longer to stop and line myself up with that platform, it probably would have been better for me to just go ahead and land on that platform and then jump over here. But I think you can also jump from rope to rope, which I didn't show off, but whatever. Fifth time is the charm. <laughs> oh man, I can already see how this is going to turn out. Yay, we are now good enough to be his underling. I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not, I doubt I'll get busted. 
All right then, Swabby, I'll tell you what, you can have that treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry up and take it before someone comes. Indeed, I will. I like, I like how Link was just grimming. I'm like, yeah, what now, huh? That didn't take me a year. Though it took me more times than it probably should have, though. That was a horrible showing. Yay, we got the spoils bag and keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight kinds of items. First why are all items crazy was inside. Hey then we reached up for second fortress. Hurry up and get up here. I think I might have added too many ups there, but whatever. You can never have too many ups. Whatever the hell that means. I don't know, I just say random things. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it don't, you know. Also, you can't roll upstairs. This game took that into consideration. Even though it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to roll upstairs. I mean, that's... You know, you have to get into some, like, insane shenanigans there. Like, just, you have to be magical to do that. Alright, well, let's climb up here to the crow's nest. I know pirate ship terminology. And there's the Forsaken Fortress over yonder. Looks pretty amazing, right? What are you doing with Nico? Why I was taking the test to become a true pirate? No, it wasn't a stupid game. It was a pirate's test, so yeah. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed island known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are still, uh, there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be a hideout for a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. And like how the bird is just nodding off. <laughs> nice touch. They were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. I knew it. Look! Over there. Where? Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? But you anything, that's the place where they got your sister locked up. Because if you recall, wherever Arrow was, there was like three or four seagulls there, you know, just chilling. Because your sister has like a little, I guess, seagull magnet inside her brain. So, yeah. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we get anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? And even that freaking wink annoys the hell out of me. Just everything about Tetra annoys me. And Link has been barreled. This is not Donkey Kong. Damn it, what have you done to him? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Really? You pirates do this all the time? You use catapults? All right. Everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Prepare yourself, Link. His facials in this game are so perfect. <laughs> I don't blame him for screaming because that looks like it would be pretty scary and he's dead. Good thing he fell in the water. Otherwise, that would have ended, like, really bad. This is the Forsaken Fortress, if you couldn't tell by that title right up there. In the corner of the screen. This is just so awkward, I don't know why. Alright, well, no, no. Get, get out of the water, Link. Okay. You want a nice touch that the water's still, like, dripping off of him. Oh my god, so many nice things about this game. Way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. You don't say. Look at your face. Priceless. I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you better press that button. I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Use that button on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully, I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? 
Alright then, down to brass tacks. Who the hell says that anymore? The courtyard is washed with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Yes! It is stealth time. It is stealth time. Unfortunately, stealth time is kind of slow. So we're going to get things moving on a little bit faster. Ooh, can I get that rupee? Ah, wait, wait, wait. I want that rupee before the spotlight. Yeah, all right, whatever. I meant to do that. Seriously, I, I really did. But I wanted that rupee first. Come on, what are you doing? If you start wandering around a place as well guarded as that without any means of defense, you're bound to get caught. At the very least, you should see if there's anything nearby you can use to hide yourself with. Think stealth. See what you can find around there and be quick about it. Time is short. Yeah, I, I could have used that barrel, you know, like so. And then, you know, move, and then when the spotlight comes in here, just stop. But this is actually a lot quicker. Plus, I mean, you know, it's easy to escape too. So just climb up here, throw that vase, get that rupee, and then crawl through here. Oh, okay, ZR is crouched. All right. And then once you make your way over here, you're out. It's not that bad. I was pressing B to try and break those vases, but I don't have my sword. Kind of forgot about that. But all right, it really is like just with the way I take it's quicker to just get yourself caught as opposed to like trying to maneuver on the first floor. And we got the dungeon map, so I mean that makes things even more better for me. Oh, it just showed up on my gamepad. I forgot it does that. I should probably, yeah, I think I'm going to prop my gamepad up then just so I can always see the map at all times. All right. So, let's go ahead and get started. Or should I, um, 15 or so minutes in? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go on a little bit more. So, the name of the game here is Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, but the name of this portion right here is Stealth. And the thing is, like, we need to get up to where our sword was, but there are spotlights everywhere. So, what would you do in a stealth-based game to get rid of spotlights? Well, you'll probably use a chaff grenade, and then, you know, like, use a cardboard box to sneak up on people, and then break their necks, and then drag them out of sight from other enemy units so that you won't get caught. But since we don't have access to a cardboard box, we're gonna have to do the next best thing and not listen to Tetra. All right, well, fine. There's another lane. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blow to see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick it up with A. But that's just me. What will you do? I will do something entirely different and that, you know, is more successful. Because screw using my shield. I am not a defensive player. But yeah, since we don't have access to a cardboard box, we're gonna have to do the next best thing. We're gonna have to grab this vase right here. Yeah, how you doing, Bulkablin? Okay, he's lifting up the spotlight because, you know, shit just got serious. He needs to fight me. Okay. There we go. Throw that at him. Pick up one of them. I need to stop pressing B. This is not my sword. Okay. There we go. B is throw when you have an enemy weapon. A is swing. All right. Ugh. See, the next one is right there. I know I can do this. Oh, I can't land on that. Wait, I, I really can't land on that. I thought I could. Oh, I really can't. There's an invisible wall there. Okay. I, I, I really thought you could. Oh, well. And I could go down there to get those rupees I missed, but meh, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, nothing to do right here. Alright, well, through here we go. 
And yeah, by doing this little steam line route, I know I'm going to be missing out on some stuff on the bottom floors, but there's also enemies on the first floor too, and I don't want to have to deal with them, like trying to sneak around them. That gets kind of annoying. So is this the correct area? No, so right here. I could barely see anything there. All right, up here. I can use that as a shortcut, I guess. All right. And we'll go ahead and take care of this second spotlight and call it a day. Cause why not? I mean, you know, we're, we're making progress. It's, it's, it's all good in the hood. All right. I fail at everything. All right, well, whatever. You are about to die. Eat stick. Wait, eat, eat, eat this damn stick. Thank you. And you drop nothing. But all right, that's going to be it for today. And just for good measure, let's hit that and do absolutely nothing. So we have one more spotlight to go. It's right there. And... Yep, yeah, yeah we, we do need to get rid of them. We need to get rid of all of them, though. But alright, so thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Goodbye. Link is tired. You deserve a rest, Link. You deserve a rest.